Greetings from the Theme Rex team. In this video, we will review the most important aspects and features of the Elementra WordPress theme. We will also understand why Elementra is 100% optimized for Elementor. On our top bar, let's click Edit with Elementor. All the skins and demo sites are created with the user-friendly Elementor page builder within the Flexbox containers, which is the current industry standard. If we click on any block or section of the page on the left side panel, we can customize it. And if we want to change the text in the title, we can easily do that right in the builder. But the real magic begins when we want to create new blocks and sections. If we click on the plus icon first, we need to choose the layout, Flexbox or Grid. Let's choose Flexbox in Element Structure, first option. Good. Now if we click in the middle of the container, we can choose any widget on the left side panel. There are some of the standard Elementor widgets, like images, texts, titles, etc. But there are also advanced custom ThemeRex widgets available free of charge. They are useful and functional, and we encourage you to test them all. Let's try the Recent Posts widget. Good, this widget can be added anywhere on your website and it will display your recent articles. It is also fully customizable. You can choose the number of posts and which details to show. You can also control the style settings and advanced settings of this widget. The next item is the templates. Here you will find templates and pages provided by Elementor. Also, you can save your own templates and find them in the My Templates tab. And the last important item in this panel is ThemeRex templates. Here we can find an extensive library of templates. On the top of our screen, we can switch between blocks and entire pages. Also, we can refresh the library to load the latest blocks. On the left side, we can choose different categories of the blocks, which makes it easier to find what we need. We also have a favorites functionality. We can mark some blocks as our favorite blocks, and then if we click on favorites, it will display only them. The second click unchecks the selection. We also have a search bar here. Let's type in something to narrow down the search. Let's say team. Good. Below, we have different team related blocks. This one looks nice. We just need to click insert. In a few seconds, we have this block on our page, and it looks awesome. We can also click on it, and on the left side panel, we can change the image and all the details. Let's add something else from the ThemeRex library. We'll type in blog. And here we have different pre-made blocks related to a blog. We can click on them to have a closer look. I like this one, so let's insert it on our page. Great! Now I have a block on my home page that automatically shows articles from my blog. And again, I can click on each element and customize its settings. When we are finished, we need to save the changes. Therefore, on our top bar, we will click Publish. Now let's go to the site settings on the left side of our screen. Here we have color settings where we can control system colors and theme colors integrated with Elementor. Next, we have global fonts where we also have system fonts and integrated theme fonts. After that, we have typography settings, where we can customize the global typography. And we have other settings provided by Elementor. Now let's go to the dashboard of our website. Navigate Theme Panel, Theme Dashboard. In the General tab, we can install the child theme, start the setup wizard, and disconnect our license from the domain. In the Add-ons tab, we can activate and deactivate custom add-ons. In the Skins tab, we can view, download, and activate different skins for our website. The Plugins tab allows us to install and activate the essential theme-related plugins. And in the Demo tab, we can import the demo data for the chosen skin. We can do a partial import or we can make a full import. But in this case, all the current data of our website will be overwritten. So, we need to be careful here. 
The next important item in the menu is ThemeRex add-ons. Here we can find some important general settings, site performance optimization settings, and integrations with different APIs. Here we can also easily connect different AI services. And finally, we have social media settings to feature our social media accounts on our website. In the theme options, we can find some site-related settings like logo and site identity, general settings, choose and assign headers and footers, customize the look of our blog and articles, and finally, we have typography and colors that can be also managed in the Elementor. As you can see, the theme is very flexible. Most of the settings and customization can be done directly in the Elementor page builder, and there are also some of the additional settings in the dashboard. Hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and see you in the next videos.